I was crying my eyes out. I was screaming. I was yelling. And I said, and what I, I figured, you know, was I felt robbed. I was robbed. John Jones' anger was such that he had only one thought. Go back to the hospital and shoot the doctor who'd bungled his circumcision. Well, I snuck into his office, put the gun in my pocket. And I looked at him and says, do you remember me? And he looked and he stared and he didn't say anything. And I looked deep into his eyes. And I says, you look a little harder. Do I remind you of anybody? And by then, I was so feared with, f filled with anger. I was, I was starting to cry, and I was mad at myself because I, was, I didn't want to cry. I wanted to kill somebody. But John Joan couldn't pull the trigger. His anger would soon turn on himself. I gave up plenty of times. There's only so much a man can, can take, and I wasn't going to take anymore. He made three suicide attempts, the third on an overdose of pills left him in a coma. My husband and I found John. And I said, oh my god, he's done it again. And my husband and I discussed it just for a second. What do we do now? He's not happy. He's horribly, horribly unhappy. He feels like a freak. Would it be so bad if we just let him go? And then I said, no, I can't do that. I can't let my son go. I can't let him die.